What's up, Soul Fam? <laughs> another day, another dollar. No holla. Damn, this fucking dog tore up my... I used to abuse dogs. I used to be really fucking ignorant person. Really ignorant. Like, I'd be mean to kids and dogs and all these things. And I accepted that and I healed it. Because I guarantee you, four years ago, if I would have caught this, I would have choked him with it. But now I live in love. I'm just aware of these thoughts. I realize I'm not them. I don't have to respond to them. <laughs> Nothing in this world is real. Until you give it awareness and you make it real. And that same goes for this coronavirus. It's not real. It's not real. As a matter of fact, there's like, like if you look up Captain America, I don't know if it's one or two, but Google Captain America and coronavirus. See what pops up. Because Hollywood tells us everything. It tells us everything. It gives us a heads up on what's to come, whether we what we choose to believe it or not. But history has shown, seems to be dead on. And uh, in one of the billboards in Captain America, I'm not exactly sure what it says, but it says something like, protect yourself against the coronavirus. And that happened, that video came out like four years before the coronavirus, maybe even more, maybe 10 years. And then there's all these other fucking movies that say, oh, you know, the, the New World Order will be obtained by 2025. And then we hear all these things about 2025 coming up now. This shit's planned out. It really is. You know, they shut down, uh, they shut down um, Australia because there was 109 deaths to the coronavirus. 109. You know how many people died of skin rashes? That year, same year, about 1100. But they didn't fucking, they didn't close down no borders for that. This shit's all trumped up, y'all. It really is. And you have to ask yourself when will enough be enough? When will I quit allowing these bullshit ideas to invade my consciousness? Because they're not doing anything for you. Ask yourself this. Do you watch the news? And do you wear a mask? Now, if you said yes and yes, well, that makes sense. Now, do you watch the news? Do you wear a mask? Maybe you said no to, no, I don't watch the news. And then you said yes, but I wear a mask. Where'd you get that idea from that the mask will save you? And how much research did you do before you put on that mask to make sure that it really does, it really is protecting you? Or did you just run with it? And how often do you do, do, you do that in life where you just hear somebody's idea, because that's all they are is ideas, and then you run with them as truth. And then you share it with everybody else and say, you should do this too to protect yourself. And then they do it as well because like attracts like. Followers attract followers. Sheep attract sheep. You know? Fucking caterpillars don't hang out with butterflies and butterflies don't hang out with caterpillars. So you have to ask yourself, what... How strong am I if all it takes is somebody just spewing out a simple idea and me taking it as truth and applying it to my life? And how often do we do this? And how, what kind of effect has it had on our lives? You know? Find out shit for yourself. That's all I ask. Quit taking everybody's ideas and thinking they're your own. Because they're not. And none of this shit is real. It's no realer than the flu. And the flu's real, but it's not a serious effect. Matter of fact, I'd be more fearful of flu than I would of this coronavirus. 2025, y'all. And what y'all doing in between that is building your prison cell. Getting your house all comfy. 
because you're going to be spending a lot of time behind that door. You don't have to, though. If you decide to stand up for what's right, for your rights, your right to freedom, to live in a happy, joyful, fulfilling life. But everything you say yes to, you say no to something else. So if you say yes to this mask, then you say no to your rights. If you say yes to quarantine, you say no to your freedom. And it's time we realize this. When we say yes to something, well, what am I saying no to then? Because you are saying no. And you're giving them the okay that this is all good and you're on deck with it all. You're going to die one day. Matter of fact, you're closer to death now. Every breath, closer to death. Every step, closer to death. When you came into this world, you came in empty-handed. You're going to leave empty-handed as well. So what do you have to lose? You have no stake in this claim. No stake. But you can make a difference. You can make a difference by standing in your truths, standing up for what you feel is right, what you believe is right. No matter what everybody, what everybody else is doing, regardless of what they think about you, what they say about you, any of that. None of it is fucking true anyways. The only thing that is true is what you believe. And a lot of those beliefs that you have that you think are true aren't even true. But they're only true because you believe them. And that's how powerful a belief is. All it takes is you saying it's true and it will show up to be true for you. And then you could take another person and say, no, that shit ain't true. I don't believe that. And it ain't true for them. And it don't show up in their life. But what you decide on being true will show up in your world. So I would take inventory of your beliefs because that's what's creating all this out here. You don't need to do anything else except question what you believe is true. And if you align those beliefs with things that will serve you, you will live a happy, fulfilling life. But if you continue on creating beliefs that hold you captive in fear, in worry, and lack, well, you'll produce that as well. And when will enough be enough? When you're fucking vaccinated, when you're fucking being raided on how well of a sheep you are, on how good you perform your duties at work and how law-abiding you are. This is all happening. Well, it's unfolding and we could stop it. We could stop it. But we have to say no. We have to say it's enough. I'm done. We're not buying into your bullshit no more. And the world... The world's going to look like North Korea if we don't fucking do something about it. So quit worrying about everybody else and say, what could I do? Not what, what other people are doing and I'm just going to follow what they do. No, what could I do that feels right to me? Even if it causes a little confrontation. Even if it, tells some, you, it, it, it warrants you to tell somebody to mind their own fucking business. Because some people need to hear this. This ain't all love and light out here. Some people need to hear, mind your own fucking business. Worry about yourself. Maybe that's why you're fucking in the state that you're in. It's because you don't know how to worry about yourself. So you distract yourself with everybody else's bullshit. That's a fucking problem. So many people waste their life away by becoming distracted with other people's success, with other people's fears, what other people have. You know, one thing I've learned from prison and living on the streets, those individuals all talk about the same shit. I've sat in a chow hall in prison and heard them conversate about the fucking same things that they fucking conversate in front of the liquor store. Fucking homeless. And that's other people's shit. How much somebody else made what somebody else bought, what somebody else is doing. Well, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? That's the question. That's the only thing that really matters. What are you doing? 
And it is, is it of service to you in creation? Because if it isn't, then you're doing the wrong shit. Because your whole purpose on this planet is to be in service to creation. Enhancing it, making it better. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as it enhances creation. Assists creation with evolving. So find out what it is that you could do that creates a, a fiery passion within you. And you know it will produce change within the world. Do that. And every time you have a fearful thought, ignore it. Every time somebody says something fearful, like, oh, you should wear a mask, or here, you want some hand sanitizer? Ignore it. Just ignore it. You know the fastest way to enlightenment is? Ignoring the mind. Ignoring the mind. But once you start ignoring the mind, and you become really fucking good at it, eventually the mind is like, wow, you know, Obviously, my input doesn't matter, so I'm going to quit making it. And eventually, those fucking fearful thoughts get quieter and quieter to eventually, they're not even there. Or you're not even there. Just be aware of them. So I challenge everybody to question everything. Question, why am I wearing these masks? Why am I wearing these gloves? Why am I watching the news? Why do I believe? Why am I more subject to believe somebody that tells me something if they're wearing a white coat or a tie look really professional rather than some random fuck off the street? Why is that? And what's that say about you? See, this is the part of the shadow that we need to address. Why am I so weak that I believe everything everybody says? I'm not weak, but I have a belief that I am because if I wasn't weak, I wouldn't hear anything what anybody else has to say unless, of course, I knew it was in service. And how do I know if it's in service? I check in with myself. I say, hmm, they say I should wear a mask to protect myself. Does that seem right? I don't know. Something covering my face and I'm constantly breathing in when I'm fucking sucking out. You know, part of the detoxification of the human body is through the breath. Through the breath. And if you got a fucking face covering and you're breathing in what you were just trying to fucking detox out, what do you think that's doing to your body? You know, one of the fucking things that they've realized is, is it's causing... Um, it's, it pulls the calcium from your bones and it makes your bones truly weak. So you'll develop osteoporosis in no time. Be mindful of that, young ladies who want to wear a mask because mommy told them so. You know, and a lot of people are going to probably think I'm fucking talking down or a lot of people do that. But that's your shit. That's your fucking cross. Ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just sharing information, y'all. How you take it, the story that you create from what I tell you, well, that's your shit. That's your cross. You carry it. Because just remember, I'm perfectly aware. How could I say this? It's not that, you know, you say, I don't like somebody, right? Oh, I don't like him. Or, I don't like you. But really, you just don't like the ideas you have about that person. And you're creating them ideas. You're creating that story. You're creating it. So you're doing it. That person ain't doing anything. It's just showing you something about yourself. But you're saying, that's him. He's doing that. She's doing that. You know, I used to know somebody that did that hence used to know somebody because I don't tolerate that shit you know be mindful of the story that you create for everybody you know whether it's somebody that you you just started showing interest in you ever had that you know fucking getting in a relationship first month is fucking amazing heaven on earth and then all of a sudden it's not like that and why is that 
It's because of this constant inner dialogue, the, the story that you're creating for this individual that points out their flaws and their shortcomings. So that's all you tend to notice of that person. Have you ever dwelled on somebody that you just necessarily didn't like? And you're not sure why you didn't like them? But the more you thought about it, the more and more you confirm that you didn't like that person? Well, that's because your thoughts have a cycle pattern. A cyclical pattern, meaning if a thought is produced that creates this state of, a, state of being, it's going to produce another thought that coincides with that state of being. So then it's just an endless spiral of fuckery. And a lot of that, all of that is created from the mind. It's all created from the mind. So find out what you'll stand for. And just remember, if somebody doesn't like you, they just don't like the ideas they have about you. And you can't do nothing about that. Shit, half of the ideas you have about yourself, you probably don't like, right? So you fucking got a lot in common with that person. And I got that from Aaron Abke. Check him out. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Somebody.